SACNAS familia. I am honored to introduce my advisor, Dr. Serena Ergus, a superb professor of civil and environmental engineering at the University of South Florida, USF. I'd like to start by just sharing a few highlights about Dr. Ergus, who is a phenomenal researcher, mentor, and teacher. She has been principal investigator, a co-PI, key faculty, and mentor to over $8 million in research grants from NSF, EPA, Sloan Foundation, and other agencies within the last five years. Since arriving at USF in 2009, she has mentored 10 minority graduate students, 26 overall, and seven minority undergraduates. Altogether, in her academic career, she has advised 50 graduate students. And I'm lucky to be one of those students to be under her wing. <laughs> Before starting my PhD, I met with Dr. Ergus's students who described her as a mother, or more specifically, as a mother hen, a professor who would take you under her wing, guide you in research, and nurture your professional growth. From experience, I have found this to be true. No matter the time and where she is in the world, Dr. Ergus is always there for her students. Last year, while on sabbatical in the Netherlands, Israel, and China, she continued to meet with us bi-weekly through Skype to follow up with our progress and our research. Just recently, working on a paper together, we texted and spoke over the phone on a Saturday to make sure the paper was ready for submission. That's Dr. Ergus. She is tough, yet a caring professor and it's evident that mentoring is her passion, not just a job. She's always willing to give advice and help during the challenging process of pursuing a doctoral degree and beyond, as noted by some of her graduated PhD students. She truly is la mamá gallina, siempre cuidando de sus pollitos, a mother hen always looking after her chicks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Emma, for the lovely introduction. And I'd like to thank my colleagues and my students for nominating me for this award and to the Sockness Award Selection Committee for selecting me. And I'd like to particularly thank Bernard Batson, his hard work in recruiting and supporting a diverse community of scholars uh, at USF's College of Engineering. I know that many of you are not taking a straight and narrow path to your career in science, and I want to let you know that these experiences will make you a better scientist teacher and mentor. I graduated from high school in the 1970s at a time when it never would have occurred to me that I could have a career in what we now call STEM. I started out actually at a teacher's college, but I dropped out at 18 when my daughter Rosa was born. I moved to Northern California and worked at a myriad of jobs. I was a grocery store clerk, a carpenter, a beekeeper. I worked at a fish hatchery. And these skills that I learned in these jobs have helped me in the laboratory and the classroom. And I value these experiences in my students. I always get really excited when I see honest potential students' resume that they worked as an electrician or a mechanic or something because I know they're going to have great skills in the lab. When I had the opportunity to go to community college, College of the Siskiyous in Weed, California, <laughs> I thought that would get applause. <laughs> My father... <laughs> My father, who had an eighth grade education, advised me, just take classes that I was interested in. 
and that he was sure that whatever I chose would work out. This led me to turn my environmental activism into a career in environmental engineering. And I encourage you also to, to do what you love. Your career is going to be long, and it'll be much more wonderful if you're going in to the lab or the office or the classroom each day to do something that is making the world a better place. When I thought I was too old or had too many responsibilities to become an engineering student at Humboldt State University or <laughs> to go to grad school, I had mentors and advisors who encouraged me. And some of them wouldn't even take no for an answer. And from this, I really would encourage you, as you have your own mentees, to take that time to be welcoming, to be kind, and also to set the bar high. And also keep in mind that always you're going to learn much more from the, your students than you will ever teach them. Thank you. Thank you.